The uncle of White House senior adviser Stephen Miller referred to him as an immigration hypocrite in a scathing editorial. If my nephew's ideas on immigration had been in force a century ago, our family would have been wiped out, David S. Glosser wrote of his nephew's attitudes toward immigration in an editorial published by Politico on Monday. Glosser proceeded to tell a story of a man, Wolf Lieb Glosser, who fled the village of Antipol, now known as Belarus, to come to America. Glosser said the man arrived in Ellis Island on January 7, 1903, with just $8 to his name and described how he progressed from peddling on the corner and working in sweatshops to owning a haberdashery in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. The Glosser family quickly progressed from selling goods from a horse and wagon to owning a haberdashery in Johnstown run by Nathan and Wolf Lieb to a chain of supermarkets and discount department stores run by my grandfather, Sam, and the next generation of Glossers, including my dad, Izzy, Glosser wrote. It was big enough to be listed on the Amex stock exchange and employed thousands of people over time. In the span of some 80 years and five decades, this family emerged from poverty in a hostile country to become a prosperous, educated clan of merchants, scholars, professionals, and, most important, American citizens. What does this classically American tale have to do with Stephen Miller? Well, Izzy Glosser is his maternal grandfather, and Stephen's mother, Miriam, is my sister, Glosser continued. Glosser went on to describe how he has watched with dismay and increasing horror as his nephew has become the architect of immigration policies that repudiate the very foundation of our family's life in this country. I shudder at the thought of what would have become of the Glossers had the same policies Stephen so coolly espouses, the travel ban, the radical decrease in refugees, the separation of children from their parents, and even talk of limiting citizenship for legal immigrants, been in effect when Wolf Lieb made his desperate bid for freedom, Glosser wrote. The Glossers came to the U.S. just a few years before the fear and prejudice of the America First nativists of the day closed U.S. borders to Jewish refugees. Had Wolf Lieb waited, his family would likely have been murdered by the Nazis along with all but seven of the 2,000 Jews who remained in Antipol. Glosser then took aim at the Trump administration over its controversial immigration policies. President Trump wants to make us believe that these desperate migrants are an existential threat to the United States, the most powerful nation in world history and a nation made strong by immigrants, Glosser continued. Trump and my nephew both know their immigrant and refugee roots. Yet, they repeat the insults and false accusations of earlier generations against these refugees to make them seem less than human. Most damning is the administration's evident intent to make policy that specifically disadvantages people based on their ethnicity, country of origin, and religion, Glosser said. As free Americans and the descendants of immigrants and refugees, we have the obligation to exercise our conscience by voting for candidates who will stand up for our highest national values and not succumb to our lowest fears, Glosser added. Miller has been under scrutiny in recent months as the Trump administration continues to face backlash over its zero-tolerance policy, which led to the separations of hundreds of migrant families caught crossing the border illegally. Earlier this year, Miller was called a fascist while dining at a Mexican restaurant in Washington, D.C., shortly after Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the controversial policy 